Hey everyone, I am Bianca. Today I'm going to show you 10 easy Dollar Tree summer DIYs that you need to try. Let's get started. Using six Dollar Tree canvases. These I already had used, I believe, in my last DIY for a different project. I like to recycle them because if I don't think I'm going to use them again, I would rather recycle than throw them away because I go to Dollar Tree a lot. So I'm basically making the little farmhouse hexagon wall decor pieces that you see all over Pinterest and Etsy. So you can hang this up if you want to, but I'm not going to because I want to set it um, probably on top of my fireplace. So as you can see, I am measuring the, the side canvas is going to go up right here at an angle. And my ruler is upside down. I didn't notice that till a little bit after this clip. So it's six and a half inches. And that's how I know about how slanted I want the two canvas frames that are going to go on the side. So I'm adding hot glue right here to connect the two frames and then I will show you how I reinforce it with wood glue. Now I'm going to grab some wooden dowels. I'm using some Walmart ones because that's what I have on hand but they do have them at Dollar Tree too. So this is where I'm going to add wood glue. I'm just going to add it in the crease right there and add one of the dowels on top and within about an hour I would say it's dried pretty well. So I hot glued another frame to the left side and then added a dowel in the crease and then I made another one with three so I can complete that hexagon. But I did this one different as you can see the frames are faced the opposite way because this is going to go on top so you're not really going to be able to see the staples so it's going to go like this you're going to mainly see the outside that's why I decided to leave the good side of the frame on the outside for this top part and I guess I should have mentioned the bottom three those are faced with the good side of the frames facing toward the inside so I did remove most of the staples except the corner ones so the canvases can stay put together so now I'm adding the top three frames on top with hot glue and then I will add more of the dowels to the creases the same way I did the bottom ones Now I'm going to use my antique wax to stain the whole thing. Every time I use the wax, I do add water to my brushes or to my sponge just because I don't like it to be super dark. Once I was done staining it, I did sand down the whole thing. Now I'm going to glue down these large craft sticks to the bottom that way I can add decor right here. You can do this all the way around if you want but I just wanted to do it to the bottom. I'm using this Walmart cutting board that was under a dollar and we're going to use that matte black apple barrel paint to paint the whole thing. I'm only using it because you know that Dollar Tree does carry a two pack just like this. Well, it's a little bit more narrow uh, for a dollar of course. But I decided to use this one because I was already at Walmart and I saw it and I didn't want to have to make another trip to Dollar Tree. So you can definitely use the Dollar Tree version. I'm going to use this Dollar Tree Sun Hat and I'm going to show you how I cut it so I can use a piece of it onto the cutting board.
And now all I'm gonna do is just add hot glue to connect the little basket. So the basket is really secure onto the cutting board. I add a lot of hot glue on the inside. I added a little bit of Hobby Lobby greenery. And lastly, just to complete the look of it, I'm gonna take part of the hat and add it to the handle of the cutting board. So this completes the look of that one. I love it because it was so simple and I just decided to add it to my wooden ladder. I am making a little candle holder with this Dollar Tree cat bow and Dollar Tree beads. Now you're probably wondering, okay, why a cat bow? I decided to use it because the bottom is more wide. I was going to pick up, they have, you know, plastic bowls and regular glass bowls at Dollar Tree, but the bottom was too small because I want to add these wooden beads at the bottom to make it sit up a little high or just to give it that look that I'm going for. And that's why I decided to use the cat bowl instead of a regular bowl. After taking it outside and spray painting it, now I'm going to go ahead and add the beads to the top. As you can see, I was running out of paint, so I didn't paint the whole necklace. I just did what I needed. I'm gonna use three beads at the bottom. I have Amazon beads that I've talked to you about lots of times that you can order. It's so much cheaper and of course they come in all different sizes and you can even stain them the way you want or leave them just like this the way I am. And I had three Dollar Tree beads that you can use as well but they're smaller and they only come in a 20 pack for a dollar at Dollar Tree of course. So. I decided to use my Amazon wooden beads and you can find them in my Amazon store link below. So this is what I was talking to you about that I wanted the beads to fit at the bottom and a normal bow it just would not look right. So I'm leaving them just like this. I'm not staining them or painting them and yeah I'm just going to glue three of them and it'll just give it that look that I want. I added some Dollar Tree greenery that I have had on hand for a while and then the little battery candle inside, I've had that for a while too. They have them at Dollar Tree in a two pad and use these four mirrors from Dollar Tree. Now they actually came in frames that I used for different DIYs. So these are just scrap mirrors that I needed to figure out what to do with. So as you can tell, there are two smaller ones, but we're going to make it work. So what I want to do is create kind of like a frame around it. So I'm going to use these Dollar Tree bamboo skewers to do that. And I'm just going to place one long one in the middle. And then I'm going to grab another one and just put this on either side of that. And I'll just cut it down to size. So while editing this, it's bugging me so bad that the mirrors are dirty, but I kept touching them. So I kept getting them dirty and making fingerprints. So I didn't clean them until after I was done. Now I'm cutting down more of these skewers to place around the mirrors like a frame. Now I'm going to go ahead and paint the skewers black. So all of this stays together. I am going to use a Dollar Tree poster board to glue all of this on top of. First things first, we're going to go ahead and apply the outside skewers first, which is going to be the trim for my mirror.
Now I'm going to apply the middle trim pieces. I decided to add another skewer to each side so there would basically be like a double trim. So now what's left is to just glue down the mirrors and as you can see on the right side how I told you I was adding a double trim to each side. Well, I couldn't just add one long one like I just showed you guys. I had to do two pieces because it one long one didn't fit. So I guess it all just matters on how well you measure everything out. And I didn't give no measurements for this because you might have different size mirrors. The easiest way to cut through foam board is to use a box cutter. So I'm just lightly scoring it and then I will actually push all the way through. This is a wreath form from the Dollar Tree and what I did was cut out two of the round areas because I'm going to use this on my mirror and what I decided to do is to use it at the top of my mirror, both of them. The wreath forms are sturdy so the beads won't move around and they slide on really easily. Before adding the beads, I'm scoring off those side pieces and they'll eventually just pop off. And now I just need to figure out about how much I need to cut off. That way I can open the wreath form and slide the beads on. So this is about how it's going to look once you cut them. and. I'm just trying to see how I'm going to place them at the top. You do need to have some touching the bottom of your poster board so you can glue it onto the back. I added some of my Amazon beads to the smaller one and now the bigger one, as you can see, I'm gonna stretch it out a little so that way it kind of goes from end to end of my mirror at the top. Like I said, I left some of the wires showing because that part is gonna be glued to the back of the mirror. So now for the bigger one, I'm going to add my Amazon beads and I love these Amazon beads. I Now that I have the bigger beaded wire stretched out, I'm going to glue it to the back. For a little bit more support, I have some small craft sticks that I just broke in half and I'm gonna add it to the back on top of that wire. So then I just added this wreath to the middle of it. I found this wreath a while back from Walmart on clearance. I think it really stands out with the wreath. That's why I decided to add it. And I love the way this came out. Now again, yours will definitely look better than mine because all your mirrors will be the same size. I'm gonna use this Dollar Tree vase and I'm using a leftover sink mat that we just used and I'm gonna wrap it around the vase. So. Now I'm also going to use this Crafters Square adhesive cork sheet for the top part of the vase. So I just cut out a piece of that and I was trying to measure to see how much of the sink mat I needed to cut out. So I'm going to cut that out and glue that to the bottom portion of the vase and the cork sheet like I said will go on the top portion. The cork sheet already has an adhesive part on the back to stick on here, but I still added a little bit of hot glue in the back where the cork sheet overlaps. And all I did was add greenery inside of there. 
So I really like it because it looks really modern to me. I grabbed a Dollar Tree mirror and I'm not going to need the mirror part so I'm going to remove the center of that. The sink mat, I ended up painting it gray because I wanted a different look. So I don't have gray paint so all I did was just mix some of my black paint with white paint. There were like three little tabs holding the mirror and I just kind of popped them off with my scissors real easily. So there's also this little triangular piece in the back what you use to like hang on a nail. Don't take that off. I ended up taking it off because I didn't think I need it, but I did end up needing it to hang it up. I'm sorry that the camera is not in focus right now. I don't know what happened, but um, it was real simple. I just turned the mirror frame around and added hot glue and glued the sink mat on the back. So here's a little piece of twine I added to the back. Remember, you don't have to do that if you leave the piece that I took off. So all I'm going to do is just hang it. You can put it, you know, anywhere in your home. And I'm going to add this Walmart wreath that I found on clearance around springtime. It came in like a two-pack, I believe, for a couple bucks. So it was very, very simple. And you can also make a bigger one if you want. You can get the embroidery hoops that they have at Walmart. They have all different kinds of sizes. I'm making a two-tiered uh, shelf, basically. So I have eight five by seven frames from Dollar Tree. So it's, it's really simple. All we're gonna do is remove them and we are gonna glue four together. I'm sure you've seen this a million times on YouTube. I've even done it uh, quite a few times. So let's see if I can get them to stand real quick. So just like this, you would just glue them down like that and we're going to do that to both of them so there's going to be four with this one and then the other four we're going to do the same thing i have two of the frames that i removed everything so this is going to be the front of the shelf the other six i left this part inside so we just have to glue that down so it's connected to the glass so i'm debating on leaving the little side sides on because it will help it stay in place so I might do that because I don't, I don't think you would really be able to see it. Leave the glass down. I'm going to add a little bit of glue on the corners. And then this one that doesn't have anything, it will go on the front. All right, lastly, you can see that I have both of them ready. All I did now was grab eight of the giant craft sticks. I cut them down to fit on top right here. This is gonna be a shelf. Once I put these four on here, this one right here and then these four up here. I went ahead and added four more at the bottom right here just to complete the look of it and now I'm going to add this up here and add my Again for this one you don't want to put anything too heavy on it
This next one is also very simple. I'm actually using four Dollar Tree items. I'm gonna use two of these four by six frames and two of these palettes. So I actually have used this palette before in a previous older DIY and as you can see, I did paint most of it black already. I'm just gonna finish painting all of it black, get in between those lines right there. And like I said, I'm using two palettes, so I'm gonna do the same to the other one. So to add that palette in the back of this, I'm gonna remove everything from there. I'm also gonna remove these little, I never know what to call these things, but I'm removing these <laughs> and then we're gonna hot glue the little palette to the back. Now it almost fits perfectly. I'm sure if you keep sanding down the ends, it would fit in there nicely, but I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm just gonna add hot glue to the tops and then, or to the top and the bottom, and then just put that in there. And then once that's sitting in there nicely, I'm gonna add hot glue to the sides just for a better hold. All right, last but not least, I'm adding these Dollar Tree ferns to each of the frames. So I just cut off a piece and I'm hot gluing down both of them to each frame. I'll show you both of the frames right now whenever I am done. Okay, so here are both of the frames. Such a nice modern farmhouse look, very simple. You could also use bigger frames if you like, depending on the space, um, you know, how much room you have or where you wanna put this at. So this is just a smaller take on that. So this next one, we're using these three Dollar Tree items. I have two palettes. These are a little different than the previous DIY. These are more of a square shaped. The other one was more of like a rectangular shape and the small candlestick. So I'm gonna paint the candlestick black. I forgot to mention earlier when I used this paint, this is the matte apple barrel paint from Walmart. You can paint the candlestick any color you choose and you could also use spray paint, which will probably be a little bit easier to do and better coverage. While the candlestick is drying, I'm taking this antique wax from Waverly and we're gonna paint both of the palettes. And once I'm done with that, then I'm just gonna rub it down with a piece of cloth. And that's just really to remove the excess and also for it to dry faster. It's a little hard to get in the center of this palette or inside of there. Maybe if you use a really small brush, you could, but I just didn't worry about that. Oh, and I actually am using a piece of paper towel to rub off the excess. Now I'm taking one of those palettes and I'm going to place the candlestick upside down. You can put it either way, it's up to you. And I'm just gluing one of those to the top of that. And I'm gonna leave the other one by itself and you'll see right now how I have it set up or you've obviously already seen it at the beginning or on the thumbnail. Okay, so all I did was place both of them next to each other just to give it different heights. Like I said, that's always nice in home decor when there's different heights. And then I added these little galvanized buckets with greenery. I've had these for maybe a couple years now. They were from the Target dollar spot. I am using this wood plaque from Walmart. This one was about $1.98, I believe, a little under $2. Now they do have a smaller, more thinner one that's a dollar if you can find that one. I just picked 
this one up and then I have some beads I'm only showing you four of them, but you actually need 12 if you want to create the exact same look. So I also have these long skewers from the Dollar Tree that I'm going to use as well. So this next part is important. You're actually going to need eight of these little skewers, but as you can see, they're a little bit under four inches. And I am using the sharp ends because that part is going to go directly into the wooden bead. I'm going to use that antique glaze for all of these parts. Again, you can use whatever paint you want, whatever stain you want. Again, for this exact look, you would need eight of the skewers with the pointy ends and 12 of the beads. And just remember to rub off the excess if you're using this glaze or stain. So now I think it'll make sense why I chose the pointy ends of the skewers. So you'll see that I'm adding glue inside of the bead and then I will stick that pointy end inside of there. pointy part of the skewer is able to push all the way through to the opposite side but don't let it go all the way through now we're just going to hot glue the two ends together Now I'm going to glue down the legs. So obviously you can tell this was before I decided to add the third bead at the bottom of this and before adding the other two legs, which will make four. So once I turned this around, it of course just fell to the side because it didn't have no support at the bottom. And you're probably wondering why didn't I just glue it the opposite way and have the two beads on the ground instead. And that was just because the look I was going for looked this way. So now I'm adding the third bead. As you can see, I am adding glue inside of the hole of the bead and then I add the stand on top. I'm doing it this way, that way I can see that the bead is sitting flat, that way it is well balanced. So once I added these two legs, that's when I decided to add the other two to make four legs. And then after adding the other two, it was completely stable. You don't have to worry about it breaking. All right, so all I did was just add an Ikea wicker basket with some greenery inside of there. You can obviously put anything on top of this. Of course, you don't want anything too, too heavy. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Another idea would be, like I said, to turn the legs the opposite way. Thank you for staying till the end. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know which one was your favorite. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.